Hey everyone, happy Monday. I'm just here getting ready to do some food prep for tomorrow. I'm gonna have a busy day, I won't be home till later. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw dinner together so when I get home, all I have to do is shower and pop dinner right in the oven and I'm good to go. And this recipe is so easy. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot it out to Instagram, shoot it out to YouTube and show you guys how easy this recipe is to make. And it's one of my kids' favorites, one of my favorites. I love it. Um, we enjoy it as a family and it's super easy. So you can follow along with me in my recipe book under page 27. This is my cookbook, Andrew's Country Home Cooking. You follow along with me. If not, I'll put the recipe underneath this video or post it to where you can find it. So first what you want to do is you want to start with one pound of ground chuck. I used really good beef. Um, my stepdad is a is a um, bee farmer so we get the hookup so that's what this says but I would use like at least like 90 20 the less grease the better if you can for the ground beef so we're gonna start with the one pound and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some onion in it that I already chopped up in my in my onion chopper give it a couple pumps one fourth cup of onions we're gonna dump that in there I use a yellow onion if you have a favorite onion go ahead and use it Okay, so next we're gonna use a half a cup of tomato sauce. This is my homemade sauce, you can use whatever. I've also used like Prego. So half a cup of tomato sauce goes in. Next is one and a half teaspoons of salt and a half or one eighth pepper. So not much, just a little bit for seasoning. Sprinkle that all over the top. And then next is where we get dirty. If you want to use a spoon, you can, but I suggest just using your hands because we're going to have to put it in the bowl when we're done. So I already washed my hands before I started, and I'm going to get this meat nice and mixed up. Now, if you want, you could definitely use like ground turkey, ground chicken. I've never done that, but I am substituting the white rice for brown rice. So you use whatever, like I said, my recipes are pretty, um, pretty easy that if you want to throw in whatever you want to throw in, go for it. Make it your own. This was a recipe that my gram, my gram's mom used to make. So it was my great great grandmother, and I grew up eating this, and it was always amazing and one of my favorites. And then when I became a mom and realized just how easy this recipe is, I'm like, oh yeah, give me more. And I love that you can make it different. I can use turkey if I want. So, and you can change up the cheeses too. That's the beauty of this recipe. So our meat's pretty, pretty ground. It's nice and moist, which is how you want it. It'll kind of remind you of like a meatloaf base. So I have a pie dish. We're going to dump the meat into the pie dish. You don't have to grease it. We're going to flatten it down. And then we're going to make a nice crust along the edges for this. Try to get it as even as you can. So when it bakes, you don't have like high and low spots. So that like all the meat's pretty even. So it's going to start looking like a shell like this. smells so good already and when this bakes oh man it smells so good and you also can freeze this recipe too so this is what I love about this make it today eat it tomorrow make it today freeze it have it next month whatever you prefer okay so our shell is pretty much ready now I'm gonna have to go wash my hands I'll be right back now we're gonna get started with the goodies that goes inside the shell so we're gonna start with one and a half cups of instant brown rice or white rice. So one and one third cup goes right in. Okay, next we're going to add one and a half cups of tomato sauce. Then we're going to add one cup of water. We're going to nice and slow. Next goes in a half a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle that all over. And the next part is my favorite part. Is sharp cheese. One cup. This is Cabot Extra Sharp, our favorite. I throw a little bit of extra one cup. And if you're lactose intolerant, you don't even have to add the cheese. You can use mozzarella. Use whatever favorite cheese you guys have. Or you want to use. Can I get a spoon? We're going to give this a nice stir until it becomes like a thicker consistency. My kids uh, requested this a lot, actually, for their birthday suppers. So that goes to tell you how good this is. 
They both love it. And especially if you have really little, little ones, like with the rice and the cheese, it just seems to be like kids' favorites because it's like pretty much like burger meat filled with cheese and rice and an amazing like tomatoey sauce. So you really can't beat this recipe. Okay, a couple more stirs. Mixed up real good. And I think that the filling is ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna get our pie shell. We're gonna pour our filling right into the pie shell. Oh, cannot wait for dinner tomorrow night. Kind of wish I was having it tonight, but I'm like, no. You gotta just wait till tomorrow night. Contain yourself, because I'm gonna be so glad tomorrow when I get home and I'm gonna have dinner like ready to go. So, this is what it looks like. There it is. I don't wanna tip it upside down or it's gonna go everywhere. But that's what it'll look like. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bake it. Let's see. You're gonna bake it for 350 for one hour. You're gonna wanna put foil on the top. After the hour, you're gonna to wanna to put, I have an extra cup of cheese laying over here. So when it's all done baking, take your cheese and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top, pop it in your oven, obviously with your foil off, for like another like two minutes, just until it's nice and cheesy. Take it out, let it sit for like five minutes because it's way easier to cut when it sits. And then serve and enjoy. Sir, I usually serve it with salad or roasted veggies and then bread if you want to um whatever floats your boat but super easy one dish wonder to serve it first with some vegetables and you're like set to go like i said if you want to freeze it put some foil over the top mark it and then pull it out on it, and pop it in your oven 350 for one hour so that's it dinner is ready to go for tomorrow night that's how easy it is less than seven minutes i had everything ready Dinner's ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.